Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can embed an Excel workbook into, for example, a blog post. We're going to be taking advantage of the new SkyDrive which Windows has made available on the internet. Our goal here is going to be to take this workbook which also has a pivot table attached to it. We first need to send it out onto the internet. Once it's out on the internet and stored on our SkyDrive, then we want to capture the code to embed it and then bring it back so that we can actually add it in to a blog post. So I'm going to first make sure that I have sent this uh, workbook out onto the internet, out onto my SkyDrive, and then I'm going to capture the code, for the HTML code that I can embed in my blog post. All right, let's see how this works. Let's switch back here to Excel. Now, I'm working with Excel 2010, and one of the really great features in Excel 2010, if you go over here to the File tab on the ribbon, here in Backstage View, if you click on this tab, Save and Send, you'll notice that one of the options is to save that workbook out onto the web. Now, of course, you might have several different web locations, but in this case, what I've done, I've enabled three folders out on my SkyDrive on Windows Live. The document that I'm going to store it in is in my public Excel workbooks that I use on the videos for my website. I also have a folder out there where I store the documents that I use on my WebEx by Cisco download site. So I've already stored it out there, so to save time I'm not going to click over here, but I also want to point out if I come in here into the recent documents that I see that I have that version which is stored in a HTTPS, in other words a secure location out on the internet, so it's already out there. So in this case let's switch over to the SkyDrive. So over here, I'm on my SkyDrive. This is a free service. I believe you can store up to 25 gigabytes. That's right, gigabytes of uh, files on a personal SkyDrive. It's free. It does simply require uh, that you register. And if you have a Hotmail account, you can use that to register. So first name, last name, and an email address. So let's open up this folder. This is where I'm going to locate this particular document. So when I click over here, now I'm able to see the document that I have over here. And notice that there are options over here to open it up in Excel, to edit it in a browser, to sh uh, change the sharing properties on it, and some other elements over here. Also notice that there is a warning that links have been disabled. Now the gotcha step to be able to pick up the HTML code that we want to embed in our block is to click right here on the title bar. I only learned this in the last few days, so click on the title bar bar over here for the workbook. This takes you back to the directory and notice that you now have an information tag here. So this is now selected. Over here on the right side of the screen in the sharing group, what we want to do is we want to click on embed. When we click on embed, this gives us the HTML markup code. So click in there to select it. I'll use the keyboard shortcut control C to copy it. And this is a preview of what the interactive workbook is going to look like when I embed it into my blog post. So I have the data and I also have the pivot table. All right, now that I've copied this HTML code, let's now switch back over here to my blog. Now, I use WordPress, so my whole website is built on WordPress, and what I want to do is I've already begun a new post. Now, in most blogs, you'll see that there are two tabs over here. There's the visual, or WYSIWYG, you know, where what you type is what you see, but we want to make sure that we're in the HTML view. So I'm in the HTML view, and this is where I'm going to post that HTML code that I just copied. So I'll right mouse click and I'll say paste and here is my code. Now I'm going to make one change over here in the code that I pasted. Allow interactivity. Notice that the default is false, meaning that there will be no interactivity. So I'm going to change that to true. And now what I want to be able to do is I want to preview this. So I'm going to click over here in my preview window 
and here and I'm going to maximize this is a preview of that post. So here is the text that I typed in and now my interactive workbook is loading. Let's just click down here and just as I saw on the preview when I was out on Windows Live if I come over here and now I look at the pivot table with interactivity selected what I can do is I can choose to filter. So in this case I'm going to come down here and I want to filter the fields in the row of my pivot table. So for example maybe I only want to see Gulf States, Mid-Atlantic, and the Southeast regions. I'll just click down here and click OK. And now there is the filter. So the filter has been enabled. Now let's restore the filters or remove the filter I should say. So I'm going to clear the filter from the region or the row area of my pivot table. And notice that we have down here some other choices, especially over here the icon in the lower right corner. So this will enable me to view it in full size workbook. When I click here, what it's going to do is it's going to take me back to the SkyDrive. Now, if you send a file like this or, or post it on the internet and somebody wants to actually activate it, they will be required to register for the Windows Live service. Again, it's free. If you have a Hotmail account, you can use that for your registration or first name, last name, and an email address. Now, let's take a look at some other options that I have for the internet. So I'm going to come back here to the SkyDrive in full view. I want to come back here into this view over here and what I want to do is I want to click on the sky drive and I'm going to open up another document. So in this case I'm going to open up uh, let's say this document that I've already stored out there for my viewers to be able to view online. As I mentioned, I've just recently learned that I can embed these documents into my post. So over here, notice that what I could do is I could edit this in the browser. So clicking over here, it's going to say, well, edit a copy of it. And also notice that links have been disabled. So what I want to do is make sure that I have a copy of this. And after just a few seconds, what I'm going to do is again get that title bar. So you see editing it in the browser, what I'm able to do is take advantage of these icons over here. And also notice that if I click down here that I have the entire workbook over here available. So I could go in and I could edit within the browser for one of these fields, for example, if I wanted to make it bold. Now these are just toggles, so they toggle on and off. Obviously it's a limited uh, menu selection that we have, but we have additional tabs. So we have inserts. So for example, we could insert a chart or we have some viewing options we're in editing view but I could also change it over here into reading view so now you've seen how we can take advantage of the different options for embedding a document into a post that we have on our blog or on our website it's really very simple to do just remember those couple of gotcha steps that I pointed out try it out for yourself and send me an email let me know what you think and I'll look for you in the next lesson.